4x4 and we're going to be fitting a tailgate lock on a Canon. Um, it's going to be a pretty much step-by-step -step video. We're going to start with taking off the rear panel. We've got some Phillips head screws. Take them off. Panel comes straight off. We come down into here. We've got this plastic to undo the rear Have a look through here there's two clips holding the whole shroud in there so we'll take these clips out so you just put a flathead screwdriver a bit of a pry it pops out on both sides this is all going to go back in so don't lose any of your hardware bit of a squeeze that comes out now if you come in here this is where we're going to put in the, the tailgate lock and uh, I'll grab the pack, open it up and show you what the next step is. Alrighty, so we've got the OCAM tailgate lock kit. Now it's very straightforward. That's the unit itself. That's the locking mechanism, so the master, uh, your wires. So we're going to connect these, run them into lock and unlock. Um, now I'll come down into here. Just a visual just so you get your head around things. That's pretty much where it's gonna sit. So it's gonna pick up that bolt and that bolt there. Uh, firstly, we'll take this pin off just by flicking. Just be gentle so you don't break that plastic. We'll just move that out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna undo the eight mils. Okay. Pops in there. Just on hand tight. Okay, so just so you can understand what's going on here, put that pin back in as well. Don't forget to lock it, otherwise you won't be able to open your door. Now the whole purpose of this is to stop it from opening. Now you can open, central locking, bang, it locks it. So that's your purpose there. So it's very straightforward. It's a matter of undoing those two eight mils, moving that out of the way, dropping it in. So now I'm happy where it is. I'm gonna go and tighten this up. back in, lock into place. Make sure everything's working again. So once that's in place, next step is grab your wiring loom. So you've got your two colors. You connect blue to blue. green to green make sure it clips in now if you bring the camera down and have a look inside the tailgate you've got a wiring loom there for your camera so we're going to actually zip tie the loom along that camera loom and we're going to come out the bottom grommet so it's a nice and neat clean finish and nothing no wires are loose and hanging around so we'll go ahead and do that Okay, now, a good way to do it is to, there's two ways to do it. You can undo this tape completely, run it through. You can punch a hole through the, the grommet. If you're gonna punch a hole through the grommet, you need to seal it. So I'll show you, that just pops out like that. And what we can do is take the tape off. Once we run our wire through the grommet, we can tape it back up so it's watertight. Let's grab a blade. OK, 
Okay. So you can see that's all loose now. We'll move that in and out. So we'll put our wire through. We'll cable tie everything at the end. To find the hole. Run it through here. A little tip. Uh, give me one sec. So I'm just cutting this off just to make it easier to run through rubber from it. Get a CRC or something, some lubricant, just to help. Just push it through. Personal choice. Yep. Just put a bit of tape over this. Tape doesn't come in the kit. It's totally up to you. It doesn't need it. I just like to finish it this way. Keep pulling it through. Come back through here. As you can see here, we don't want to pull on. We don't want to pull on the motor, so we want to keep it fairly loose. We've got some zip ties in the kit, so we'll just zip tie it, secure it to that loom. Two or three will do the trick there. So now I'll come back over this side. We're gonna push this grommet back in. Taper back up. Locked in. Now don't put everything back together yet until we hook up the wiring. Next is we're going to run the wiring. We're going to go through this grommet. Uh, we'll take it right under the car. Okay, so we're running through the cable through the next grommet. We'll just pop that through there. All right. Pop the grommet back in. Nice tug. Get out a cable tie there. Keep things nice and neat. Okay, so that's gonna sit there that way. All right, so I've ran the cabling through the rear. I've gone under, up on top of the chassis. I've followed a, um, the factory wiring loom, so it's nice and neat. So just zip tight to the wiring loom. Bring it all the way. We're gonna come underneath the car now. I'm gonna show you which grommet we're actually gonna go through. So just come down. 
come right under. Yeah. Keep it coming. <laughs> yep. So just here where the actual fuel filter is, next to it, on top of the body, there's a rubber grommet here. Okay, so that's the grommet we're going to need to go through. And that grommet comes out right under the seat of the passenger seat, um, which is the easiest spot to, to run your, your wiring through. Um, if you go on the edge of the actual grommet, um, make sure you avoid any wiring. So the wiring is obviously in the center. So try and go around there to punch a hole through. Uh, if you're not confident and you're worried about the wires, you can pull the grommet down. And then you can actually put a hole through the edge. There's no wiring there, the wiring's here. Run your wire and then you can pick it up from inside and I'll show you that. Okay, so I put the wiring through the grommet. The next step is to pop this plastic trim up. So it's just held in by clips. Make sure all the clips are still there. Now if you come around here, there's a cutout under the carpet, factory cutout for the wiring. So if you just stick your hand in there, So there's my wiring that I've pulled through. I'm gonna stick my hand under the actual carpet itself. And continue bringing it to the edge. Just feed the wiring bit by bit, it'll come through. All right, that's the wiring there. Now, the next step is we're going to tap in to the central locking in this loom here. So I'll go and open this up. Uh, once we're finishing opening up, attaching our wires, I will obviously tape it back up to get a nice, neat look. Okay, so taken the trim off, undone the, the tape holding these wires, and I've located the wires for you guys. So the solid green there's two solid green in there. The large one is not the one we need. The smaller one is the one we need. And that's the actual lock button there. And then you've got a full red with a green line going through. So if you come into that and see that. So it's all red, but there's a green line. So a small green line. That's your unlock. So we're going to open up unlock. Gonna open up the lock. Just measure our wire to size. Open that up. Okay. Just grab some tape. Okay, so green wire on your wiring loom coming from the locking mechanism is unlocked. We're gonna put that onto the red with the green. So we get a nice solid connection. We don't want any sharp ends. So when we solder these joins, it's all nice and smooth. Blue goes on the solid green. the wires build up so it's nice and smooth there are connections now before you go and solder it'd be a good idea to test it so we'll come around to the lock okay so we're going to go and lock it make sure it's working there we go that locked in place the whole idea is to lock the handle itself 
unlock, you can open, lock, unlock. Okay, so that's all good. I'm happy everything's working. We'll come back to the wires. So they're soldered and all good to go. We'll tape these up. Now we'll go ahead and tape this all back up, cover everything back up. Grab our cover. Just feed it back into place and then that clips back in. Okay, and that's done. Once we go back to the back. So we're just gonna put it all back on. Put our screws back in and then you've got your tail lock.